Good morning. Um, I'm here today to um, work on a small little craft. Um, I am officially on Christmas break from my regular job. Is working as a um, lunch lady at my local school district. I get to feed all the little kids and um, most part it's a great job but I'd rather be here um, making things, crafting, being off. I got to sleep in today wonderful i'm not even on my pjs yet so we're working in our pajamas and um i gotta get ready to do some christmas shopping later um i'm almost done i have two more people to get and um, i'm gonna finish that up today and um i'm gonna wrap presents later and um pretty much um that's it so um i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna make real quick i apologize for the camera angle um I'm just learning how to video and I'm um, working with different equipment um, to get this done. So um, bear with me. So we're going to make little refrigerator magnets. And these are so simple. You just take your um, bottle caps from your beer cans. There's Angry Orchard. There's mine. I got these from local bar. They gave me a whole bag full of them for the asking. Um, they throw them out anyway, so I make little sparkly. These got glitter in them, and they're really fun to make. So we got buttons and beads, so cute, so simple. I mean, they make great little <coughs> Christmas gifts or add-ons to little packages just um they don't take too long to make um and they're not something you got to be perfect with you know so here's what i use i used um what's this one mod podge dimensional magic right there in a bottle great stuff it worked really well um it dried overnight i let these dry overnight and um yeah so um old buttons or new buttons whatever you um like um little rounds which i cut out an old um art um piece of art that I was playing around with, with watercolors and pens and, you know, this, it was just kind of a hot mess anyway. So, um, I took my little, um, round, uh, paper punch here. It was the perfect size. I'm not sure what this is, but, um, I think this might be a fist cars. I'm not sure. Um, little round paper punch and it's the perfect size to fit in the middle of this bottle cap and you might even have one of those um glitter i have these little ones um walmart has some of these lovely glitters um so and a glue gun and magnets and i got these at walmart so, and they're pretty heavy duty. So, we're going to try them out and see what happens. So, this is so simple. I mean, this is, you can do this with your kids. Um, you get your girlfriends together. I um, mean, get a whole bunch of the, you know, drink your drinks, your beers, your um, pops, your uh, wine coolers, you know, all that stuff. So, um, get a bunch of these heavy duty uh, magnets. A bunch of glitter. I mean, I have here Creology. Um, I think I got that. Michaels. It's um, real pretty. I mean, you know, glass beads. Walmart. Cheap. So, um, what you do is you want to kind of just clean off your um, bottle cap. Um, I just wiped it out. I mean, you might want to soak them, boil them. So they don't stink like um, the product that was in them. Sometimes they do get rather odorous. So um, boil them um, in some 
dish soap or run through your dishwasher, um, however you would clean them. Even just, you know, a little bit of vinegar, um, water, you know, whatever your favorite cleaning um, way is. Just clean them so they don't stink because you can give them to people and you, you don't want to have a leftover beer smell um, to your gift. Um, I'm going to do is take one of my little rounds, and these ones have watercolors on them, and I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, just a little bit on the bottom, tap that in there, there you go, easy peasy. So, um, anybody make gifts this year? Um, I made a few. Not many this year. I really don't have that many people to buy for. Um, a lot of my family has um, passed away. So, um, but, you know, life goes on. We kind of take in people, <laughs> um, include them into our family sometimes. So there's that. But um, you know, truth be told, you know, I I uh, I buy for my coworkers a little things and and my family, and we don't really go overboard anymore. It's it's kind of nice, you know, because um, you know, who needs big? Who needs a lot of things you don't need? You, you know, I mean, I'd rather have tools and craft things myself so I got it See, just I mean you can use scrap paper you can use old magazines this is just old artwork I had that I didn't like so I just cut it up you know I, sky's the limit um place in there I mean just this let's throw a button in there just lay it in the bottom and take your watch pod. All you want to do is take this in, fill it, and take just a little glitter and fill it. And this is kind of self leveling, so. Okay, I might have gone a little heavy on the glitter. I don't know if you can see. Oop. I can't tilt it now, but it's a little glitter and set it aside. And um, these took a, I, I did them last night, my first batch, these guys here. I did these last night. I let them sit overnight and um, they're hard. They're good and hard. They're cured. Um, if you put too much glitter in them, I did find that... Um, they didn't dry as well. The glitter, if you get too clumpy, it's going to um, clump on you and get hard. And it, um, if you like that, that's fine too. I, this one here, it got a little clumpy. It didn't spread out real pretty. So I'll probably keep that um, because it, it's just clump and it's hard. It, it don't look all that pretty. I think. Um, if you get the spread out like that, see, and it's iridescent, I think it's much prettier. So, um, what else do I have here? I mean, you could put anything, um, into these things. I basically, since I like to craft, I have a bunch of stuff all over my, um, table anyways. I'm going to use some of these beads. Throw a couple more in there. Um, you just, this one. Sprinkle just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And um, this started where um, I'm kind of like moving into this new space. And uh, I have a lot of craft things. And I have some things I've had for quite a while. And I need to use it up because it's getting old. I've had this um, dimensional stuff for... Probably over a year. I'm not sure if it goes bad or not. It was kind of getting like a yellowy color. 
So um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it up. I'm going to get me a fresh bottle for this year. And, um, you know, it's not real expensive or anything. And if you go to Michael's and you do half off coupon, um, you can get it cheaper. You can get it for like three bucks, a couple bucks. So, um, you know, and I mean, it's so easy to use. Um, I've used resin and, um, and that's wonderful to use. But for teeny tiny projects like this, Mm -hmm. Right, you know this. This is this works really, really well. And um, I tell you what, two ounce bottle, it goes. I have made a lot, a lot of things from this little tiny bottle. So um, we put beads in there, and put a little glitter in there, and um, if you get, if you get a little bobble in your um, in this. Let me see. First, I have a. Uh, if it gets clogged up, first of all, just grab a straight pin. An old one. I have one I have dedicated to uh, this kind of thing. This one I'll have to clean it off. Just uh, shove that down in there till you get it going again. And if you get a little bubble, just take your lighter, plain old big lighter, or one of those ones um, with the long ends, um, they would work nicer because your fingers aren't so close. Because these, these little guys, you know, um, the metal gets real hot if you got to heat it for any part. But if there's a bubble, you just light it and just... Um, Gently go over the bubble and it, it will um, get rid of the bubble. Be very careful. Um, that's all I say. You know, you don't want anybody burning their fingers or anything. So that is it. And when you're all done, um, take your um, glue gun. I've done it to this already. Um, I just hot glued these to the back. And um, so far they're sticking. We'll see. Uh, E6000 also works very well. So, um, you know, you can get some of that. It's just going to take a little longer to, um, you know, you have to let it until it cures and sticks. And, um, and then, I mean, they're nice. You stick them on your refrigerator. You go to work. I know at my job, we're always hanging things on the refrigerator. We got, um, that's our bulletin board. So we got calendars and our, um, schedule we have to fill out and important um, emails and all that kind of stuff so we're always looking for a magnet to hang you know kids artwork <laughs> you know um every once in a while you get um one of the artsy kids who likes to hand you something so um yeah i'm gonna take a couple of these into work and use them so but if you need a quick easy craft um you know and you got a bunch of uh bottle caps laying around or i mean just you know, if you're out somewhere, just ask them at the bar. Say, you know, can I have some of those? See what they say. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. So, um, that's it. Happy holidays. And, um, we'll maybe see you later this week. Maybe we'll see you after Christmas. We'll see what got going down. Okay. Bye.